we're going to start off by manual muscle testing flexor hallucis brevis. Flexor hallucis brevis is inserting into the proximal phalanx of the big toe, so we're asking the person to do flexion of the big toe without trying to flex the distal phalange, and I'm going to hold all of her other toes. Excellent. So for the brake test, I'm going to be making sure I'm not pushing on the distal phalanx, but I'm pushing on a proximal phalanx. I'm going to get her to push into me and hold this position for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And now I'm going to let her win by letting her push all the way through that motion. Again, it's going to be really challenging for them not to use that distal phalanx. Another way to kind of hold on to it is to curl your finger like so. Let's see if she can push all the way through that. And I'm not looking so much at what happens here. For the length of flexor hallucis brevis, again, I'm going to be passively extending the metatarsal phalangeal joint and I have not included that distal phalanx as a part of it. The second test that we're gonna be doing is for flexor digiti minimi pedis. So flexor digiti minimi pedis is going to be flexing that fifth digit. So I'm gonna be holding toes one through four and seeing if she's able to just flex that one like so. It's inserting on that proximal phalanx. So again, I'm gonna add my resistance to that proximal phalanx and ask her to not let me move her for five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then I'm going to let her win through the concentric. She pushes her way through that action. Excellent. To lengthen flexor digiti minimi pedis, I'm going to extend at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Again, as I'm pushing on that proximal phalanx as I do so. The last muscle in this group is going to be adductor halysis, which is going to be doing a combination of flexion and adduction. Again, I want to remind everybody that for the purpose of adduction and abduction, adduction is going to be everything towards that center toe and abduction is going to be everything away from that second toe. So in this, she's going to try to flex and adduct her big toe whenever you're ready. Not bad. Let's try that again. So a good thing to ask somebody to do is try to squeeze these toes together, but you're going to hold the second one in place. Good. Again, insertion is on that proximal phalanx of that first digit, so I'm going to put my resistance up against that and push her into abduction as she holds for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And now I'm going to turn to a anterior and posterior grasp here as she's going to try to bring those two together so my finger doesn't get in the way of her adduction. Excellent. For the purpose of lengthening it, I need to both extend it and abduct that first digit. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to extend and abduct at the metatarsal phalangeal joint for the length. 